Is Robota the new strongest boss killer in Summoner's World? Let's find out today. I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Roberta skill 3 is very simple. It does damage according to enemy max HP, and it does more damage when enemies suffer from harmful effect. Anyway, this is the rune build at the moment. We've got Rage Blade, we got attack with damage attack. You don't really need attack on this unit, but if you have more attack, you do a bit more damage on the bosses. This is Luna, the previous boss killer queen. She's on a Rage Bill with more crit damage on her build. This is Luna's damage. 120k, pretty cool. Less crit damage, but... Did she spin three times? That was more damage than Luna with less crit damage. So, on a damage scale, Roberta wins. But then, there's a problem. You see, Luna has perfect AI. When she's full HP, she used to skill 3 all the time. As you can see, not... <laughs> not good AI. So you cannot rely on her to use a skill all the time, so she's useless in speedrun. But then there's a condition. If the enemy is suffering from harmful effect, then she'll deal more damage. I thought if there's going to be defense break, then her AI will be perfect. But that is not the case. As you can see, so many units with harmful effect, she doesn't use that skill 3. And for a lot of speed team, the only harmful effect you have is going to be defense break. So sadly no perfect AI. So even though she could have been the perfect replacement to Liam, because this skill does very, very good damage. But unfortunately, if you don't use that skill on the right moment, then she's no better than any other unit and Liam is still better in this dungeon. She has a fucking harmful effect scaling. Why does she not have good AI? Please come to us. Please buff her to have good AI. So people who have her, we have a very solid, amazing boss killer. She could be a decent replacement to Shaman in this dungeon because compared to Shaman, her skill 1 can provide defense break as well. So you can land defense break on the boss more consistently. But I think Shaman will do more damage because Shaman damage bonus on dark unit is 100%. But her bonus damage on boss with debuff is only 50%. So you are doing a bit less damage, but you get more consistent defense break. Is that really good? I'm not too sure. She doesn't provide any extra multi-hit compared to the other unit. And she doesn't provide slow debuff or buff block. So she can be relevant in other dungeon, like the artifact dungeon that requires certain debuff. So I don't think she's going to be like a great unit in this dungeon in particular. Okay. Oh, oh shit. She has more attack than the other unit. <laughs> but... Can she do the damage? Oh, her cooldown is longer than Shaman. So if she happened to use the skill when the boss has the shield, then you're going to waste that hit. And compared to Shaman, she has no healing, which will make the run even less safe. So Shaman is definitely going to be a better unit for this dungeon in particular because of all the utility that the unit bring, healing damage, being a light unit, all that stuff. So definitely not going to be a good unit for the Necro dungeon in particular. For new player, I think she's going to be a great TOA unit because she has defense break, she has AOE attack break and attack bar absorption. Her skill 3 is an amazing boss skill. So if you are manually TOA, you don't need to care about the AI of the unit. And she's definitely going to serve like an amazing early game TOA unit for her. early game player. I think they made this unit with TOA and pretty much giants in their mind because the attack break and the defense break are amazing in giants and the skill 3 is amazing for giants as well. And the unit is also absolutely incredible for TOA in general. So this is, I think, an early game unit because a lot of early game player who join the game might summon her and they want to make the early game player feel like they summon something useful so they give this unit this kit with aoe attack break defense break and boss killing damage as you can see any new early game player will be very impressed with that skill 3 on any boss in toa and toa hard so i think that is going to be an early game unit if you don't run this team and you don't run this team she's definitely going to be a great unit just to put in your dungeon team in the early game 
because of all the things she can provide and she's gonna work very very amazing for any non-endgame speed team out there i'm talking about this kind of team so you happen to summon her and you don't have the water Geralt, you put her in there she's gonna be an incredible unit for that team but for the giant speed team i still recommend the wind homunculus because if you happen to miss the defense break then this guy with the revive and his own defense break in his skill will potentially solo the boss on his own if you are very unlucky so he's like a fail safe option and he's much easier to build compared to the dark unit and because everyone has Luna nowadays, I think this team is way easier to build. Just have Luna move first before the Homunculus, and then Homunculus will clean up the boss with no problem whatsoever. Other than that, I think she's irrelevant in all PvP content, so you don't have to worry about that. You can use her, but she's not going to be anything special. But on a side note, I want to talk about 570 Ringgit. <laughs> hey, it looks like the Ringgit currency, you know, Malaysia Ringgit? His passive reflect 100% of the damage that you deal to him that cause him to die so if you cleave him without any knowledge this will happen hello <laughs> and he's still full hp that's kind of funny right that that is kind of funny but unfortunately the revenge damage doesn't count towards the nana orb so that didn't allow him to get revived by the nana but that was very funny and remember never try to ignore defense this guy because this will happen <laughs> Sonya just flies straight through the screen and exit the battle on her, on her own. It's kind of funny. But there's a cooldown to that, so it doesn't happen like all the time. So it's not like broken. I think he should be on Vio, so he can Vio back to his passive. And that's going to be very funny and annoying. Right? Oh, it ha she, he has it again. The cooldown is very short, okay? So it's like Theomas. With the defense break and the damage and whatever, if you're trying to snipe him, you might regret it instantly. Also, we're on Lexical account, so I want to do some LD5 RTA. Man, I'm so jealous. Look at this guy. He's rocking a Maximilian and a freaking... <laughs> Holy shit, Lexical. What are you feeding these monster? Oh my goodness. He just outspeed everyone and, and clap them with with damage that is so much fun okay what do i actually do against this guy though i kind of need a speed lead do i ban tian lang or nah nah i think i should ban chiu it's gonna ban my speed lead right he banned my speed lead but i think we might outspeed him <laughs> i'm on 350 speed are you kidding me are you actually kidding me? <laughs> I actually outspeed him. All right, let's try to get some attack bar gain. And is he going to push back my attack bar? Not really. We're going to freeze him. Freeze the panda. Very important. And we're going to push back. <laughs> I'm sure that light unit is not slow, by the way. We are just way too fast. Like, way too fast. Let me try to kill the light buffer. We don't want to deal with that. I'm going to boost the Robo so we can push back his attack bar more. <laughs> and goodbye to that. That's going to die to the dot damage. And Smicer is going to be a little bit annoying, but definitely not going to be a problem. Dude, this is, this is a different game of RTA. <laughs> this is crazy. What the hell? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just picking a lot of LD5 that looks really cool. <laughs> Look at that. We have Strip, we have AoE Defense Break, we have AoE Dots, we have Ignore Defense Damage. This is ridiculous. I think I'm going to ban Veramos because I like my debuff. And then we are going for the Accuracy Lead because I think he's going for the Resistant Lead. If my Robo land any Despair Stun, this is over instantly. Okay? Here we go, buddy. There's nothing you can do to stop me from moving. The vert is on wheel rune. Is it on double revenge wheel? I don't care. We're going in. No despair stun. I'm not going to use my skill to give Gyo attack bar. We are going to push back despair stun. Oh wait, this unit is on Vio actually. Here comes the AoE. Big damage. Here comes the revenge. Here comes the follow up. Big dot damage. And oh shit, she's moving. Should I be scared? 
Nah, we're gonna be fine, right, guys? We're gonna be fine, right? He didn't even attempt to despair stun my my Asima. <laughs> They're all melting to dots. <laughs> Bro, Lexico's playing a different game, man. I'm so... <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, my God. The whole reason I'm on this account was to showcase Roberta. But I'm just having a an amazing time. Just <laughs> abusing LD5. He picked zero water, so Douglas is going to be amazing. We might still outspeed him anyway. And Fire Monkey just kind of solo his entire team as well. I don't know what is the Ragdoll doing there, over there. But I know I'm going first. So if I ban this, and he doesn't ban Wunsa, we go first instantly. Right? I think he think I'm going to ban the Daphnis, so he's going to ban my Douglas, because Douglas is kind of strong against him right now. Kinda. <laughs> I got him. Ragdoll and Ethna still have a very good chance of killing Douglas, but then he has to go through all the other units before touching Douglas, so that's going to be very risky, so he banned Douglas. Now we're gonna take turn one. What is that robo doing? Is that a Nem ro It is a Nem robo, and it messed me up. And we are. <laughs> this is bad, <laughs> very, very bad. So monkey's gonna go down, and monkey's dead. Oh shit, Nem robo! You know what? <laughs> very, very well played, and it actually cut me. Even though I get attack bar gain from the from the Wunsa. It still cut me. Oh, imagine if I get a violent prop for Maximilian, I think I still win. Maybe. Maybe, okay? So we're gonna try and still win here. It's not over yet because my Oliver is a damaged Oliver, I think. <laughs> I can still kill the Daphnis because my Wunsa has... What do you call that? Strip. And survive. God damn it. So I didn't reset the Ethna, so we're gonna get defense broken here, unfortunately. We're gonna finish. Oh, we didn't get any skill. So I don't think we have a chance here because there's no way we can defeat the Ethna. You know what? Nem Robo. Amazing. What if I sleep them back to back? Nah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop. But that was a lot of fun on this account. And man, I wish my account looks cool like this. Alright, guys, thank you so much for Alexico for letting me borrow their account. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. As you see, Luna has perfect AI. At full HP, she will always use skill 3. But Roberta, not really. Okay, that was because that thing has like low HP. Let's try again. <laughs> but Roberta, different story. Are you stupid? <laughs> Why does she do it all the time? That doesn't make sense. Why does she do it all the time? Wait, what the fuck? Hold up. Are you kidding me? You don't do this all the time, girl. Don't stop lying. This is bullshit. Wait, how come she does it all the time? Wait a minute. Am I stupid? <laughs>